Hey guys, it's Saria. Welcome back to my channel. So I am still recovering from bronchitis, which explains my voice. I'm going to do a pretty short intro and a pretty quick video for this one because I lose my voice really, really easily and I get out of breath really, really easily. Um, so today is another Forgotten Favorites. I actually had to miss last month because I was sick and it's hard to believe we're already at the next one because I'm still not 100%. Um, but today's video is going to be all about Wreck-It Ralph. So if this is the first Forgotten Favorites that you guys have caught, me and a group of YouTubers here in the Disney YouTube community, we have gotten together to celebrate a different um, underrated Disney movie every single month. And this month is Wreck-It Ralph. So Wreck-It Ralph is one of my personal I say that about like every single month. <laughs> but today's video I decided to kind of throw back to like years ago, like before I had kids, where me and my husband actually dressed up as Ralph and Vanellope for Halloween. Um, so this is the sweatshirt that I wore and I'm just gonna show you guys the different costume pieces that I personally used. And then I also am gonna have a little bit of a DIY at the end for how I did the candies in my hair and also the Twizzler hair tie wrap kind of scrunchy thing that she wears. So I just wanted this to be out for there because I think this is one of the easiest Disney costumes you can put together. I also think that it's really great for dress up days. I'm a high school teacher and we do a ton of spirit days and stuff. And a lot of the time we do have like a character day or a costume day or a Disney day. So this would be a really easy one to put together or one to put together for your kid. Um, all you're really gonna need is a teal kind of sweatshirt. I got this on clearance at an Academy Sports and Outdoor store. And then for the pink, like pull string. I actually am just wearing a shoelace around my neck right now. Um, so I literally just pull the hood back, link this through and it's, it stays on. It doesn't fall off. I've never lost it before or anything. You could obviously like poke holes in the sweater if you wanted to, but I wear this sweater, so I didn't want to do that. <laughs> um, and then for the rest of the costume, I found myself a, what's it called? It's like a pleated almost like a peasant skirt and it came in a dark chocolate brown, but it was a little bit longer. It was like tea length. So I just cut off the bottom portion to make it like, um, her skirt's kind of like the wrapper of a Reese's. So that's what it makes me think of at least. Um, so I wanted to get, make sure that I had like those pleats within the skirt, but I also wanted it to be the right color and everything. So I actually found this at a thrift store years ago but if you guys are looking like on amazon or something i'll try to link something similar below um just so that if you need to order quick you can but you're basically just looking for a brown skirt that has kind of like a fold in it to give you those lines and then for the tights i myself wore teal tights and the first time i wore this costume i did use duct tape around my legs i used white duct tape um, to do the pattern on each leg and they're actually like asymmetric tights and then i used a like a magenta sharpie on the bottom portion now i have seen that they make actual like vanellope tights now and you can order those as well any of these links if i'm able to find them i will put them below for you guys just to make your life a little bit easier if you're putting this costume together so as far as shoes go i just picked up some plain black tennis shoes they were like nine dollars at walmart um and super cheap enough for the costume and really easy to do okay the camera cut off and i don't know where it cut off at but basically teal sweatshirt pink shoelace, <laughs> a brown skirt, teal tights, black shoes. Um, her shoes are a little bit more of a high top, but I honestly don't think it matters. I think as long as you have black shoes, it's fine. Um, the trickiest part about this costume, I would say, is if your hair's not black, you're gonna need a wig that can go into a ponytail, which can be a little bit tricky. So again, I will link some suggestions down below if you guys are looking. Um, but now we're gonna go ahead and jump into the tutorial portion of this, which is where I show you guys how I made the little candy clips that is like the easiest, most cost affordable way to do it. Um, you obviously could use like magic mold or clay or something and um, like sculpt your own and then you could really imitate everything that was in her hair. But I wanted to go for something easy and cheap. <laughs> and then I will also show you guys how I made the little Twizzler hair tie. And that's basically it for this video. I really do hope it was helpful to you guys, but let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial. <laughs> I wanna say thank you guys so much for watching. I know today's video was a little bit quick, but I also know that Halloween is coming and sometimes you just want an easy costume. So hopefully this helps with that. Um, or again, like I said, spirit dress up days or whatever it may be, uh, even if it's just a costume party in the future, I do hope you guys found this helpful.
Okay, guys, I'm sorry that my voice sounds awful, but um, I'm just going to walk you through this really quick. So these are where I get my candies. It's from the Christmas section at, at um, Hobby Lobby, and they actually have a lot of their Christmas stuff out already. I went and picked these up just to show you guys this. Um, but all I do is pop these out and then I add some hot glue and then I press down a bobby pin into it. And then I also will sometimes add a layer of hot glue on top of that just to make sure that it's really secured and I'll be able to put it in my hair. These are some other options they had. I didn't want to buy more because I like already own them. And then you can also snap off the stick on these little sucker ones. Um, if you don't want it to look like a sucker or you can leave it on. I kind of ended up doing both. They also had some gumdrop versions and different things like that, but you can pick up these little mini candy ornaments for like a dollar fifty, and you get like 12. So, um, a really ineffective or really ineffective, really cost effective way of doing it. I'm so sorry guys, but I could not find red pipe cleaners to show you this, but I'm just going to give you a zoomed in shot. So this is my hair like Twizzler essentially. And all I did was grab a handful of red pipe cleaners and twist them together and made it look like a Twizzler. And then I took it and twisted it around my ponytail. And that was it. Be sure to go check out all of the other channels participating in this month's Forgotten Favorites. I personally cannot wait to see what everybody came up with for Wreck-It Ralph. And without further ado, as I catch my breath, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.